You talk about confidence and the confidence needed to be successful in being a founder. Uh, where do you get that confidence from? I think it's um, mostly to do with kind of the job itself. Like, w what is the role? I, I don't think the role is that, you know, you start a company and you have all the answers. And I think with my first startup, that's kind of how I did it as well. I thought I kind of knew how it's all going to play out. And that's not really what happens. And I think if you're comfortable with just looking for things and searching and, you know, being kind of uncomfortable really all the time, and I think that that's really what it is. And so it, it's not really confidence. It's kind of just understanding that in this job, it's just about searching for, you know, where it's product market fit, where it's like an monetization, whatever it is you're searching for, it's a search. It's not like you arrive to the conclusion. So talk to me about the transition from data scientist to CTO. Transitioning from a data scientist to a CTO, I, I started off with a specific area, right, data science. So it really, I had to pick out the other, <laughs> the other, uh, you know, tools in the toolbox because I just didn't necessarily have the experience with them. I mean, luckily I did build a product before, so I did have some idea, but I think it, it's a lot of other things that create a product apart from the data science bit. So in terms of technical stuff, yeah, a lot, it's a lot about, you know, being comfortable, just um, not knowing stuff. And, you know, you hire people and you don't know what they know and that's why you hire them kind of thing. Building the product and the business should be in theory a very data driven. But the problem is that in the early days, the level of data that you deal with at this data science is like, that was always like a struggle I was having. I'm like, how are we going to reach a conclusion, right? We don't have thousands of people. Like, how am I going to be able to detect the right patterns, right? So I think it takes a lot of adjustment and it, it's much more about qualitative understanding what people want. What do you see as your best trait as a leader and CTO? A level of empathy. I think empathy is very important in a startup specifically for a few different reasons. So it's not just empathy for the team and, you know, for people and kind of understanding their motivations to achieve, which is also very important. But it's also empathy for your users or clients. It's very important, you know, that listening piece, I think. You know, and that this has been a, a learning a learning curve for me as well. I think it's very often quite easy to just uh, be very driven and determined and think, you know, you know what people want, but really people will tell you.